Part seven, you know, I have to tell you what was really going on too as well. So at age 17, I graduated from out of high school. July, I really wasn't planning on going to college. I had already had my cosmetology license at 15. And, you know, it wasn't really pushed for its education for me. My mama just said, whatever y'all decide, you decide. But at the end of the day, I went out to college to a historical black college. And the only reason I went is because my auntie, my auntie in Fort Worth, my mama's sister, she said, to Carrie, why don't you go to Wiley? And so I went to Wiley. I was on a dance team, the first dance team. I was in the choir. You know, I did my thing. And so uh, I, I found my first husband there. My my choir teacher said, little girl, little girl, little girl, little girl. Mr. Lewis said, you going to get married and have children, little girl, little girl. I was like, mm. you know, I was missing this fly guy. I thought he was fly at the time. And I married him maybe a year later and didn't go back to school because I thought my husband was rocking education. So I, other than that, we ended up in divorce. Not just because of that. That's just one of the real problems because he did not, he wanted to be so protective of me. He wanted to be fatal attraction. That's what you call that. But other than that, he's a sweet gentleman and everything. And they're putting in, you know, put me in a situation because I knew how to get out of it. Okay. Um, anyway, so later on in life, I went on my life, worked went here and there in the community college and back and forth and back and forth. So I probably about two years later, I ended up going back to Wiley College, still in the choir, still doing my thing, being active and stuff. I met this baseball player. Never met her before in my life. I ain't going to talk about my baby dad. I met down there as well. And I didn't know that they were from Dallas. And that's the one thing. I probably should have ran from them Texas men. <laughs> but anyway, I met this guy. And he was so nice and sweet. But it's a twist to him too. Come to find out, we started dating and everything. And everything was hokey dory. He came to my house. I had an off-campus apartment because I was bougie. Bougie girl can't get along with people. I get along, but... Some things ain't going to tolerate. You ain't going to overrule me in my spot, but I ended up moving on campus because I needed my space because I was a little grown already because I've already experienced the world of working and know how, about the grind and being a business owner. So I went back went back to school and met this gentleman. And then I, my ex, when I went back home for vacation, said, how's college this thing? Drunk Negro. Except he wasn't joking at the time. I said, Spot, I met this guy that said he knew you. 